Hey guys, what is up? It's Dusty here, and welcome back to another crypto video. Today, hopefully another quick update with some daily crypto news. A lot of stuff I want to cover in this one, so make sure you watch it all the way till the end so you don't miss out on any important crypto news. Also guys, if you are enjoying the daily uploads, make sure you press the like button and subscribe to really support the channel. I want to try hit 50,000 subscribers at the end of this year, and I don't think we'll get even close. I don't even think we'll get 33,000, but I want to try anyway, so all of you guys that are supporting by liking and subbing, really, it, I, I, it means the world to me guys, so keep doing that. I really, really, really love it a lot. And also guys, comment down below what you think about the current crypto situation are you still in it have you given up have you gotten some profits right now because i mean it's doing pretty juicy to say the least here a lot of coins are up like crazy ethereum plus 15 percent bitcoin plus six xrp plus eight and a half eos plus 14 so market's been doing quite crazy over the last day Crypto jacking rumor forced Nintendo Switch game to be pulled after launch, which was actually something quite heavy because I've never, <laughs> never read up something like this before. Well, while developers denied this has ever happened, which was a rumor that the Nintendo Switch game Cooking Mama, Cookstar has had running crypto jacking malware in secret have appeared over the weekend. So basically, this game, Cooking Mama Cookstar, um, they supposedly had some, some crypto jacking malware in the background running and they were secretly mining cryptocurrency for themselves. And now they've denied it and I don't know if it can ever be, you know, shown that they did it or shown that they did not. But right now it's, it's a pretty big debate, a lot of controversy and thus the game has been pulled. Which, which is a pretty heavy thing in my opinion. But that's just to show again the severity of, of these mining scams and these these types of ways these people are trying to make money out of you if indeed it was true again i don't know if it is but you keep it in the back of your head binance cz says coin market cap to maintain neutrality and independence basically what we already covered last week so they're a bit late with this article it was that um coin market cap ceo i believe or, or whatever engineer on the top level there had already mentioned to us that they will stay the way they are right now they will stay as an independent entity and thus not as much will change and we shouldn't worry about the 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 confidence and whatnot of of coin market cap it will all stay the same so we'll most likely not even notice that binance bought it i think it's just going to be for for traffic in a in a better sense and more so to control more of the crypto space you know to have it in the back of their heads that they control it i think that's the good part EOS launch new DeFi platform after Coinbase doles a million dollars into Ethereum-based DeFi. We actually read up on all of this last week already, but I just wanted to quickly remind you guys and give you all a heads up that this is going on. EOS launch new DeFi platform, again, after Coinbase doles a hundred million into that DeFi based off Ethereum. Just a quick reminder. Tron infiltrates another gaming platform as Refirium rolls out TRX rewards. So, basically, Tron, right? They, they're they're like an Ethereum, right? So they're they're like a platform in which you can make games on and play games on and do other things on. Mostly betting, however, and mostly things that you need to refer people to and for. And what I find so fun is that. There's so many different communities on Tron, which are just solely built upon games, and now there's just another game built. Which I believe from the title that the, the name of the game is Referium. Referium. Basically already showing us that this is another MLM type of just pyramid scheme where you just oh, the basic things come from referring people. Which is what it's mostly on 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 Tron really. It's all betting and it's all based on referrals and whatnot. It's it's all just messed up. And that's something I really dislike about Tron and how they're doing it. They're so focused on gambling the apps, which I don't think are so nice to show on YouTube because it's not really allowed, that you're you're kind of taken away from the from the from the in 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 uh the, the the solid I don't know what the word for it is, like the solidness of the project, like how how respectable I find it. You know, it's taken a little bit away from that just because of how much they do with gambling and how much they support it. If they did something else, like just a fun game, which got really popular, 
I would be really happy. But I believe all the gambling platforms are trying to, or what's, what's happening and what's popping the best. And I, I really dislike that. Legitimacy, I think, was what I was looking for. On the contrary, though, I believe there are multiple games that can be played, which are just completely fun. But I just noticed that most of them are referral and, and, and gambling type of games they have on there. Just wanted to let you guys know that. Um, Binance, Binance CEO, once QE money starts flowing, BTC's price will go up very dramatically. Since CV took over, business-wise, the platform is doing very well. Uh, C19, QEG, depression, and countries printing a lot of money will boost crypto prices. We talked about this really elaborately before, and also on my finance channel, I went over this. By the way, link in the description below, Dusty Finance, no advertisements on there, and really cool news videos. Already, they are seeing business demand on the platform growing. So, a little bit of a shortcut to the whole article here is that he's thinking things will grow 10 or even 100 times in a, in a very short time span here because, first of all, traditional investments are, are kind of going astray and, and are not as possible and as simple to do right now. And thus, people are looking for some different ways to find yield. And also, in, in times of need, these crypto companies do really quite well. And thus, it's, it's a pretty good idea to go for for something like that and he thinks companies in crypto will grow ridiculously much and for example uh, like exchanges like this one will do it very very well 42,000 bitcoin seemingly sold for 18 cents on coinbase due to error now you know I, i'm always kind of skeptical when i read this stuff because i'm like error you sure about that one buddy uh, i find it really odd if, if an error could be millions of dollars worth like this you know and and, and, and why but hey Probably due to a UI error, some 46,000 Bitcoin was seemingly sold at 18 cents, according to the exchange's order book. So, at this point, you don't really know if it's, by the way, 42 or 46,000. But also, you don't really know if, if it got sold or just seemingly, right? Because I think what it's all about is that it looked as if it was sold for cheap, but it didn't happen. There's no evidence that the trade went through as of now yet, and the exchange has not yet commented on the likely bug. And basically... It could be because it looked like 42,000 BTC was was just yeah going over the counter for 18 cents. But in the end, we don't know about it. Here you can see an order, which is a pretty big one. Instead of 75,000, it went for 18 cents, which is why this big candle right there would be going on. But then I would say they just filled the entire order book or they just bought out the entire order book, right? Because then they would have just bought all of this. They would have bought all of this. They would have bought all of this which you can't really see right here but that would most likely be a lot of money <laughs> and i don't think they would get that far even with forty-two thousand bitcoin i think bitcoin on on coinbase is quite deep but i i, I can't tell you for sure because i haven't checked on coinbase in quite a while if you do if you do trade on coinbase just give it a check just look at the accumulated buy or the aggregate of buys on coinbase and how much btc it is worth or how much dollars is it more than forty-two thousand btc Maybe it is not. Maybe I'm completely mistaken. Maybe they bought the entire order book seemingly. Maybe they didn't. I don't know. But yeah, most likely an error. Maybe not. I don't know. Bitcoin manipulation at peak before the next big crash. Another big opportunity type of article by Jeffy Kahn, who is known for making the very controversial and very <laughs> interesting type of articles. Very, very, um, very interesting in that sense. Bitcoin manipulation has taken one of its worst shapes ever. Every time the price is ready to fall, we see a big green candle that shakes out a lot of retail bears. This is a clear case of market manipulation that would be like an open shut case in other financial markets. However, in this market, all sorts of things go by without consequences. The 4 hour chart for BTC to USD shows that the price risks a major decline in the near future, and this is going to be a lot more aggressive than the previous crash. The stakes are too high, and this is why the market makers and key stakeholders in this market are so keen on discouraging traders so they would not be short on the market before the next big move to the downside. Hmm. That's actually really quite interesting if you think about it as well. And guys, just on a, on a completely different note and different scale, I'm sometimes thinking about doing a news website in this sense as well, because I think a couple of the people I speak to on, on Twitter and a couple of you guys could really help me write some of the articles, you know? And we could just really try to educate more and more people on crypto without writing some of those shizzle, shizzy articles that we see online sometimes. Like, 
For example, this website normally has really, really bad articles, I find. Really, really, sometimes they're good. But for example, Smart Theorem also doesn't have good articles. And there, there's multiple websites that I'm, where I'm, where I'm looking at them like, you know what? I think it could do better. But I'm since I'm not English natively, I'm like, I could never write as well as a, a, an English-speaking person. So then I'm like, maybe I, I should just ask people for help. But I want to see you guys' opinion on that because I think it would just work. I think it would be cool. And also because I already do the videos, I think it also could get, um, you know, just a cool amount of views. I, th I think it would be a cool idea. So if any of you are down to become a writer or, or you're also into crypto news and you're like, hey, this I would really enjoy this, go through with this idea, um, make sure you let me know because I, I, I want a place where I can just really also put all the info that I find. You know, on Twitter, I sometimes put it, but it's a little bit different. You know, it's, it's a little bit different. And I want to more so do maybe also like on my own, like a, a weekly recap on there or, or something like that, or a daily thing where I just post all the news I find of the day and just put it in little bullets. Because on Twitter, you're, you're locked with a, a number of, of words, right? Or I would have to make 10,000 tweets a day. And I'm, I'm not, I don't really like Twitter that much in that sense. Because also on Twitter, if you mess up, your account is gone. All the work you put in is, is gone. And if it's your website, the news is independent, right? You can, you can keep it on there forever and nobody can take it away from you anymore. Because you guys know my my fears with YouTube. They just delete your videos for nothing. It happened before so many times. Like, I don't know. I, I At one point, I had 1,600 videos uploaded. Now I only have like 200. Because, um, yeah, well, you guys know. Bitcoin above $7,000, but market in extreme fear. Should holders back out or double down? Well, that's a completely, completely dependent on your own strategy. <laughs> and I would never listen to anybody writing this. Right? Should you back out or double down? Well, that depends on what you think Bitcoin is going to do. Do you think it's going to go up or do you think it's going to go down? And also, do you think it will go down and then back up later? Or do you think it's going to go down and go to zero? Right? Because if you think it's going to go to zero, back out. If you think it's ever going to get higher than this point, you can double down, no problem. So, yeah. I mean, I, I personally think doubling down is fine because you'll be good in the end. But I don't mind waiting a couple of years either. So if you do mind waiting, yeah, then then reconsider. You know that's the difficult part about giving advice in that sense. Everybody's different. Crypto futures markets see highest volumes ever during March Madness. Of course, the world is being crazy right now. A lot of people are 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 taking their luck right now, and I think gambling is at a, a really high point right now as well, where people are like it's all or nothing. A lot of people can't pay their things anymore. A lot of venture capitalists are looking for new companies new companies to invest in, in crypto, a lot of retail investors, a lot of just, I guess, other investors, whatever, are all looking for new things to buy. And crypto right now, I think it looks really, really interesting. And also that it went down so far since I think half of February makes it more appealing to people because now you get another kind of fresh start to buy and cheaper. Now, a little bit about XRP though. Rob Art posted, XRP will reverse and pump hard one day, then keep pumping, then pump some more, then dip and pump even harder, then melt your face. Then make your head spin, then make your neighbors call the cops on you as you start break dancing too loud to music or to loud music in the middle of the night. So um, my, my, my view on this is actually, I think at one point, most of the cryptos we're invested into will do good. And it's, 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 a, it's a ride, right? You're going to go down, it's going to go up, it's going to go down. It's going to be annoying. It's, it's going to be really, really annoying at some point. It's going to be really, really nice at some other points. And in the end, it will do really, really well. So, like, it might be a really, really bumpy ride, like a roller coaster. But in the end, you're going to get there safely. And you, you have that dopamine rush. And in the end, you're always happy with, with the ride you took, right? Or at least most of the times. And in the end, it's going to be a good thing. But it might be a wait that you're going to have to, yeah, go for. You might have to sit in line for a little while to actually enjoy the ride. That's one thing. And then once you're in the ride, it might be very annoying. It might be <laughs> really bumpy. And you're like, damn, why, why did I start? But yeah, if you go out, you know, right in the right, you're going to annoy everybody else. And you, you're even going to ignore yourself or annoy yourself for waiting in line so long. So the only route to go is just wait it out. And then once you've gone the bumpy ride and gone down to the big fall or then I guess the big rise, all the waiting and all the bumpy rides was worth it because, yeah, I mean, you, you've gotten what you were waiting for and we're all happy. And then Cryptopolis says, um, those 1000 XRP buy orders on Coinbase Pro are interesting. So, I don't really actually know why he finds it too interesting. Next to that, there's a frick ton of them. <laughs> and it's all on one price. But personally, 
I think it's just one guy on his computer, you know, just putting in a frick ton of orders because they're all done at the same second, right? Or same moment. Um, and, and maybe just with, you know, I have a couple of my bots that can do exactly this and they will just place a frick ton of thousand, you know, or, or like steady number orders at like... Um, nine, let's say for example, 1950, 1960, 1970, 1918, you'll just put a frick ton of orders. But even if there were to be a program like that, you would also have to check how much that would have to be, right? Because this is already quite a lot. And this could be that he spread this over multiple buys, which means in the end, he might be buying a frick ton of XRP. And, and it's also, it's a lot of orders. And there must be, must be something going on here as to why he did that. But yeah. On the contrary, it could be a normal thing. It could also be something special. It's, it's hard to say at this point. Um, XRP is only... Oh, he's, he's talking to this guy. I was like, hmm. But yeah, it's, it's, it's really kind of interesting to, to talk about that as well. Like, why are payments this way? What is going on right there? How can XRP change all the payments? And it's something I want to talk about on this channel a lot. And I think we've already done that. But we'll get to it even more as we go. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video, though. If you did, make sure you press the like button. And also, do you guys think I should do crypto news, daily crypto news, or should I do Ripple XRP news daily? Let me know. See you guys again in another crypto video.